What's up you guys? What's good? Welcome back to another Mommy Mondays. If you're new to my channel, make sure you click that subscribe button before I even get started. If you're an OG, what's poppin'? Make sure you like this video, your notifications are on, and I'm going to jump into today's video. <music> about some heavier shit this week I'm going to lighten up the mood a little bit kind of give you guys an update but I am going to be bringing you guys a part two it was requested on my Instagram and on my YouTube so I'm going to be doing that I will be bringing you a part two from last week's Mommy Monday don't think I forgot about you or your requests weren't heard I just want to lighten it up because last week was heavy last week's video was actually really hard for me to film to sit down and like decide i was going to even do so the fact that i got it uploaded was a really big deal for me um so yeah i want to light it up bring back something a little bit more me but i will touch on it again for you guys i am 10 weeks post delivery post labor post pregnancy post big nutty belly i gave myself enough time for my body to recruit get into a routine with the kids get into a routine with just colson because that in itself is huge for me and now that i have done all of that i'm ready to implement routines for myself and get me back to where i need to be the chaos is the chaos is nowhere the chaos is never going to over with three babies but within the chaos i have started my reading again i have actually started my um clean eating and meal prepping recently which you guys will have seen or you guys will see this week um and i've started my exercising routine as you can see so all of that is being implemented and it just feels good to be taking time for myself. So yesterday, Jodi Ann sent me, if you guys don't know who Jodi Ann is, I was gonna say you're not an OG, but I might have new people watching this video. So Jodi Ann is my best friend and she sent me a clip of Jada Pinkett Smith um, referencing a book and saying how it was life changing and I was like yo Joe first of all I appreciate you she knows that I'm trying to read a bunch of books um, throughout the month now and I added this to my list so I want to share it with my mummies if you mess with Jada and I think it's called the round table maybe it's the I want to say red table but she has a group on Facebook now and it's just like w about women empowerment and she, in this clip itself I don't I'm all over the place but in this clip where she talks about the book she references how when you become a mom this is, doesn't happen to everyone but I can acknowledge that it definitely has happened to me you kind of you don't kind of you lose yourself in the mix of everything and I want to say for me specifically I feel like that was easy to do because Kevin and I started having kids at such a young age we had a mile when I was 21 years old we had Eden when I believe I was 25 and Colson now it's very easy for me to put myself on the back burner and I realized recently that I need to stop doing that I'm very good at saying my kids need this and my husband needs this yo I will even buy for Atticus before I buy for myself you guys Atticus is my dog if you don't know I just need to get it together I need to start focusing some of that energy that I put so much into my family into myself and I've started doing that it feels good I just blabbed for so long I'm so sorry I hope you kept up I'm going to structure this video now <laughs> Back to this book. Jada references losing yourself as a woman. I feel like the older you are, the more you can acknowledge and understand that. And now I'm going to tell you guys what book she referenced. So the book is called Women Who Run With The Wolves. I'm going to get this book. I will come back and talk to you guys about this book as soon as I read it. But right now I'm reading You're a Badass. So I've actually read this book before. It's comparable to me for everyone who's into like motivational and self-help books. It's comparable to me to The Secret. Um, 
but it talks to me in a language that is more relatable. This woman makes me chuckle in this book. She makes me, oh damn, you're right. Like she just hits so many different boxes and I, I just had to read it again. So this was basically my kickstart for getting back on track with myself was reading this book. I'm about halfway through right now and I just, I love it. If you guys haven't heard of this book, I know it's, I want to say it's about a year old, it might be older. I feel like I got it in 2000, 2016 or, or last year, I believe it was 2016. Um, but it became popular around the same time the subtle art of not giving a f was popping. So pick up this book if you haven't, if you haven't heard about it. I totally recommend it for all of my mummies who are trying to get back on track with putting yourself first because it's super, super important. And like I said, I know it's easy to just put yourself on the back border, but it's more important to take that time for yourself. Like we need it. Our days constantly revolve around our families. And although that is totally okay, like we need to remember to take time for ourselves. So the second thing that I am doing to implement that for myself is my fitness journey, my clean eating and my meal prepping. I'm gonna briefly show you guys this book and what I am doing. Um, if you want to purchase this book or you're interested in it, I'll put the link below for you guys. I'll try and get a discount code. I don't know how that's going to go, but I'll definitely, but you'll see me reference, but you'll see me referencing it probably a lot because this is how I'm going to be eating from now on. Your girl has some goals and I'm trying to stick to them. Like I'm consistent with a lot of things in my life except for myself. So it's time to get it together. It's called the 21 day meal plan. I have a bunch of fitness inspos on Instagram. You guys will see me snap about them a lot. I actually snapped about one of them last week and she is the one who inspired me one, to start this journey again, but two, directed me in the direction I need to go. And I feel like as women, we need to do that. We need to support and encourage each other. So I'll put you on to some things today, okay? I'm gonna help you out mentally. I'm gonna help you out physically. Yeah, I'm like where this is going. So this meal plan is all about clean eating. It tells you what you are allowed to eat, what you're not allowed to eat. It's very structured, but it's not. And that's what I love about it. You don't technically have to calorie count. She gives you a guide to what you should be eating, but not what you need to be eating. She basically just says, this is what you can eat and this is what you can't. Do what you gotta do throughout the day. It's not to say that you can overeat and snap on the food. Like, let's be honest guys, I'm not, I'm not saying go crazy with the food, but like, be realistic. You're gonna have a breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and two snacks in between. That's what I'm doing for myself. I've low-key started Kevin on this meal plan as well. He just don't know it. And things are going really, really well. For me and Kev, I feel like we vibe off of each other so much. We're basically one person. So if I'm eating healthy and he's not, it doesn't work. And if he's eating healthy and I'm not, it just don't work. So we need to be on the same page. I've got, I'm getting us there. I'm getting us there. And hopefully you guys are able to see the changes that happen for both of us. I'm really excited to see where it takes us. Number three, I'm working out. Khloe Kardashian, you know, she's always talking about how she loves working out. It's so therapeutic. I'm not there yet, but I really hope that working out becomes therapeutic because right now I'm just like, get her done. So I've started working out twice a day and I only do 15 minutes, you guys. And again, it's because I'm just starting. I, I don't want to set any unrealistic goals for myself. I'm being realistic. Like if I don't even want to do this, at least getting it done is good, one. And doing it twice a day is like, hey girl, you worked out for 30 minutes. <laughs> like, oh, I don't even wanna do it, but I'm doing it, okay? I'm doing it. And it's something that I need to do for myself. So in saying that, those are things I'm implementing for myself right now. Get myself back on track, start feeling like Alicia again, and not just a mom and a husband. A mom and a husband, wow. A mom <laughs> and a wife. So in saying that, I hope that I shared some helpful tips with you guys, some book recommendations. If you guys want more book recommendations, let me know. I have books on books on books. If you follow me on Snapchat, you know that I love going to chapters, but I can definitely recommend books for you guys in vlogs to come. So let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed today's Mommy Monday. Like I said earlier in today's video, make sure that you are subscribed. Your notifications are on so you know these videos are dropping if that's what you're here for. I will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Deuces.